Hello YouTube, this is Alexander Hall again. Today I want to talk to you about multimeters, but no those one. Where are there those one? I want to talk about these multimeters because they are new uh, on the market and they are very accurate and uh, it's very amazing to find some uh, cheap product which give so more uh, so, so so good results and um, it can uh, be competitive with uh, lots of very high um, brand uh, of multimeters like Fluke or Unity or another kind of multimeters. They are very amazing for the size and for the price and uh, we, c we can add uh, for their accurate too. So um, I'm I'm working since a long time with it now, and uh, I'm very satisfied with these multimeters. So I decided to make a video to talk about them, uh, to talk about it. And um, so um, what I'm doing to do is to talk about the futures, uh, futures. Uh, um, uh, uh, who are for with this? kind of multimeters. Um, there is um, many uh, type of these multimeters. This is the Aneng AN8002 and this is the AN8008 and there is uh, the AN8004 uh, which is not exactly the same. So. On this multimeter you can you can see there is 6000 counts which is very impressive for um, the multimeter for this cost and for this size and you can see um, 10 amps caliber who we what uh, what is very impressive for this little device it have a very serious design a very good made very good shape very light multimeters the cord are very good quality this is not silicon cord but uh, anyway this is uh, not so important they are very um, very robust in the time so you have a voltmeter uh, here millivoltmeter ohm meter diode capacitors uh, duty cycle hertz etc and micro uh, amps for alternative and con uh, continuous dc current milli milliamps and you have on this model, you have a uh, temperature display with the, this one is for Bishop with um, temperature probe, which is uh, a, car, a, car, uh, a car probe. This one is a little bit different, but uh, if this one have 6,000 counts, this one have uh, 9,999 counts, which is incredible for uh, incredible for a little device like this um, on this one you have not the temperature probe on this uh, on this um, side you have a little um, little function generator uh, which is very easy not not this is the basic of uh, signal generate generator uh, the, it gives just um, uh, square wave which you can uh, up and or down which uh, uh, this button but you you can just up uh, the v value when you up a lot it it's a return to the to the bottom like this so um, what is very interesting with the, um, this device uh, it have millivolt caliber Millivolt caliber are very useful for heating engineers or process engineers because it gives you um, a very sharp uh, information about some event on any electronic uh, device or any changing uh, measurement. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, to compare these little multimeters, very cheap and very accurate for their price, with another uh, multimeters uh, which are very sharp because they are table multimeters. And uh, I have some 
demi low, demi low odds here and uh, some some battery to test for to see the difference between a table metrometer and and uh, this very very nice little metrometers afterwards i'm i think to make an an isolated test for to see about the information you can find on the bottom of this multimeter you can see it works on six, uh, until 600 volts on cat 3 and 1000 volts in cat 2 okay uh, this information uh, tell you if you can work on uh, domestic application on your workbench personal workbench or any dangerous sites uh, but uh, no matter about it because i think uh, all people uh, which are uh, buying this kind of multimeters are, are not going to work with it on a dangerous seat with a high peak surge uh, voltage so i'm just going to make uh, in the hand at the video and insulation tests for to to test how it reacts but for for the moment uh, I'm just going to test some components and see if they give accurate uh, information and uh, compare to a multimeter table with, uh, which is very sharp. Let, let's begin some tests uh, with this uh, 10K resistor. This is the read of the resistor. This is the read of a 9 volt battery. So, uh, what I want to tell about this multimeters is um, if you want some accurate more accurate uh, test you can find it on youtube because there is some video about it for my for my part i just want to talk about the the the, the ability of this multimeter to replace height cost multimeters and uh, about in insulation insulation uh, this multimeter are not made for to work in um, in several conditions because they are not uh, taken very serious by the most of engineers or t technician so i'm not uh, i i have to have uh, my opinion and um, i'm i want to just to tell to make a, a, my own test about insulation um, this is a very simple test which provide to you uh, to be sure you can work very easily with this multimeter safety uh, so i'm not an engineer of security but i have my word to tell i think and i'm going to test a very little a simple test um, and uh, see if this multimeter um, uh, with with this uh, very cheap cost can make the job and uh, uh, permit to you to work on security or safety or not okay so before to do is to do this i talk a little bit so i'm thirsty i couldn't believe me i'm not sponsored by coca-cola but uh, see you in a few minutes cheers so what I'm going to do for to test my own, for to make my own test, is to give aluminum, aluminum foil like this. 
Okay. So take the incubator. Yeah. Okay, need to add a little bit more foil here. Like this. Okay. Okay, this, uh, uh, this electrical mass represents your hand um, around the multimeter. Okay. Okay. And this is the probe where it come uh, it can comes a surge or any any other voltage like this. So I have my Fluke insulated insulation tester and I'm going to test before before the foil and the probe if there is any problem problem of insulation. So I'll take this two probe like this and simply okay just okay and okay do you understand? I'm going to inject 8 voltage around the multimeter. This this foil represents your hand and the probe. And uh, we are going to see if with 1000 volts there is absolutely no problem of or if there is any any problem. So going by simply 5 50 volts. Okay. There is no problem. So, 100. There is no problem. 250. No problem. 500 volts. No problem. Now, 1000 volts. Okay, you have three giga ohm of resistance in the, between the loads and the cover, plastic cover of the, the, the this multimeter. So, if you want to test it, you can. But this is not the best idea to to, to work uh, to, to work with it uh, with um, in a cat tree situation. But you can you can absolutely things then there is absolutely no problem to, to work with it. Um, um, despite uh, the, the, the cost of this multimeter, the cheap of this multimeter, uh, you can work easily with it. So, I make the test with uh, 1000 volts between the leads and the, the device and there is absolutely no problem of insulation. So, this is all for today. This was Alexander Hard again. Stay tuned and see you soon.